Hey everyone, Dr. Nelson here. Here is a video on how to compare numbers written in scientific notation. So the first page of your notes we're going to do together, so please follow along with me. And then you're going to have a chance to try some problems on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. So take a look at the first problem on your notes here. It says fill in the blank with greater than, less than, or equal to. All right, so here we're comparing 64,000 and then 2.3 times 10 to the fifth power. Now, when comparing these two numbers, we want to write them both in either scientific notation or standard form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this expression into standard form. All right, so 2.3 times 10 to the fifth power means we're going to have to multiply 2.3 times 10 five times. So I'm going to add some zeros for our placeholders here. A bunch of zeros. And now we need to move the decimal point over uh, five spots. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. So decimal now is right there. Better yet, I'll even make it red so you can see it even better. All right. So that number now is 230,000. So 230,000 is greater than 64,000. So we're going to put the inequality like this. All right. Now, number two, the second problem, we have 1.3 times 10 to the negative third power versus 15 one thousandths. So again, I'm going to convert this into standard form. All right. So 1.3 times 10 to the negative third power now this time, instead of multiplying by 10, we're going to divide by 10 three times. So I'm going to add some zeros here, because we're going to need some space. So now here we go. So we're going to move this over 1, 2, and 3. So the decimal is now there. And this decimal is equivalent to 13 ten thousandths. All right. Now, 13 ten thousandths is smaller then 15 one thousandths. So the inequality sign is going to go like this as well. All right. For the next problem, we have place the following numbers in order from least to greatest. All right. So again, we want to um, put these numbers all in either standard form or scientific notation. It's really up to you. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to convert this one into scientific notation since the other two are. So this one is going to be uh, 1.28 times 10 to the, it looks like, fifth power. All right. So now we have 1.28 times 10 to the fifth power. We have 6.5 times 10 to the fifth power. And then we have 9.8 times 10 to the third power. So based on that, we know that this is going to be the smallest. So we'll put a 1 here for this one. And then this one is going to be the second largest. And then finally, this is going to be the third largest. Okay. Now, just for um, clarity, let me convert these into standard form. 9.8 times 10 to the third would be equivalent to 9,800. 6.5 times 10 to the fifth is equivalent to... 650,000, all right, and 1.28 times 10 to the fifth is equivalent to 128,000, and there it is. So again, this is the least, uh, second greatest, and then the, the greatest. All right, so on the next page, I want you to try some of the uh, problems called your turn now, and at the end, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you do with these problems here. So the first one, you had to compare 4.6 times 10 to the fifth to 580,000. So I'm going to convert this first one into standard form. So that's going to be 460,000, right? Because I'm going to move this decimal over five spots. And when I do that, we get one, two, three, four, and five. So 460,000. And 580,000 is greater than 460,000. 
So the inequality sign would go in, in this direction. For the second one, we have 4,500,000 and then 1.3 times 10 to the eighth power. So for this one, I'm going to write uh, the 4,500,000 into scientific notation. So that's going to be 4.5 times. Now if the decimals here, we're going to move this over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So times 10 to the 6th power. So 1.3 times 10 to the 8th is going to be greater than 4.5 times 10 to the 6th. So inequality goes this way. All right. For the next one, you had to place these numbers in order from least to greatest. And for this one, all right, the third problem you had to solve, you had to place these three numbers in order from least to greatest. Okay, again, you want to, when you do this, you want to make sure they're all written either in scientific notation or standard form. All right, so for this problem, I'm going to convert these two numbers into standard form. All right, so 1.2 times 10 squared really means 1.2 times 10 times 10. So I'm going to move this decimal two spots to the right, which is going to make that 100 and 120. All right. Now this one, 2.5 times 10 to the sixth, we're going to multiply 2.5 times 10 six times. So I'm going to write down here a little more space. And we're going to need to add a bunch of zeros. All right. So now I'm going to use different color to make it really clear. We're going to move this decimal six spots to the right. So, ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And remember, you need a comma every third digit. So that's going to be 2,500,000. So let's make that nice and clear here. 2,500,000. All right, now that all three numbers are written in standard form, we can easily uh, compare them. All right, so 120 is the least, so we'll put number one there. And then 2,500,000 is the second smallest. And then the largest is 12 million. All right, how'd you do?